What is a DDoS attack? Imagine a busy store. Picture it during the holiday season, packed with shoppers. Customers flood in, overwhelming the staff and making it impossible to serve everyone. The staff can't keep up, and the store's operations come to a halt. That's a DDoS attack, but instead of a store, it's a website or online service. The same chaos happens online. DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Service. It's a type of cyber attack that can cripple online services. It's a cyber attack that floods a target with traffic, making it unavailable to legitimate users. Imagine thousands of fake customers entering the store at once. Think of it like this, you want to visit a website. You have something important to do, maybe check your bank account or read an article, but hackers are bombarding that website with requests. These requests are coming from multiple sources making it hard to block. The website gets overloaded and crashes. You can't access it. It's like the store's doors are blocked by a crowd. That's the power of a DDoS attack. It can bring down even the most robust websites. They can disrupt businesses, organizations, even governments. The impact can be widespread, affecting millions of users. News reports often highlight these attacks because they can cause significant financial and reputational damage. IT professionals and cybersecurity teams work tirelessly to defend against these attacks. They implement measures to detect and mitigate the traffic. Firewalls, traffic filters, and other security protocols are put in place to protect against DDoS attacks. It's a constant battle to stay ahead of the attackers. Monitoring network traffic is crucial. Early detection can help mitigate the impact of an attack. Ensuring a website is secure and resilient against DDoS attacks is essential for maintaining trust and reliability. Businesses invest in cybersecurity training and technologies to protect their online presence. It's an ongoing effort to safeguard digital assets. When successful, these measures ensure that legitimate users can access the services they need without interruption. DDoS attacks are a global issue, affecting websites and services worldwide. Collaboration and information sharing are key to combating these threats. In the end, staying informed and prepared is the best defense against DDoS attacks. Awareness and vigilance are crucial in the digital age. The Mechanics of a DDoS Attack Understanding how these attacks work is crucial for defending against them. DDoS attacks are like coordinated assaults. They involve multiple systems working together to overwhelm a target. Hackers use multiple computers to launch the attack. These computers are often spread across the globe, making it difficult to trace the source. These computers are often infected with malware, turning them into bots. This malware can be spread through phishing emails, malicious downloads, or other vulnerabilities. The attacker controls these bots forming a botnet. This botnet can consist of thousands or even millions of compromised devices. When the attack begins, the botnet floods the target with traffic. This traffic can be in the form of data packets, connection requests, or other types of network traffic. Imagine thousands of emails sent to one inbox at once. This is similar to how a DDoS attack overwhelms a server. That's the kind of overwhelming traffic a DDoS attack generates. The sheer volume of data can bring even the most robust systems to their knees. The server can't handle it and becomes overwhelmed, leading to a denial of service. This means legitimate users can't access the services they need, causing significant disruption and potential financial loss. Defending against DDoS attacks requires a combination of technology and strategy, firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and traffic analysis tools are essential. Implementing these defenses can help mitigate the impact of an attack, but constant vigilance and preparedness are key. Cybersecurity experts must continuously monitor network traffic and be ready to respond at a moment's notice. By understanding the mechanics of a DDoS attack, organizations can better protect themselves and ensure their systems remain secure. Common DDoS Attack Methods Distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks are a significant threat in the digital age. These attacks aim to disrupt the normal traffic of a targeted server, service, or network by overwhelming the target or its surrounding infrastructure with a flood of internet traffic. Hackers use different tactics for DDoS attacks. These methods vary in complexity and impact, but all share the common goal of making online services unavailable to legitimate users. Understanding these methods is crucial for developing effective defense strategies. One common method is the SYN flood. This type of attack takes advantage of the TCP handshake process, which is essential for establishing a connection between a client and a server. This attack exploits the way servers connect with clients. During a SYN flood, the attacker sends multiple SYN requests to the target server, but never responds to the SYN ACK responses from the server. Think of it like a handshake. 
In a normal handshake, both parties complete the action. However, in a sin flood, the attacker initiates the handshake but never completes it, leaving the server waiting. The sin flood sends a flood of connection requests but never completes the handshake. This leaves the server with half-open connections, consuming resources and eventually leading to a denial of service for legitimate users. This overwhelms the server, preventing legitimate connections. The server becomes so busy handling these fake requests that it can't process real ones, effectively taking it offline. Another tactic is the DNS amplification attack. This method leverages the domain name system, DNS, which is a critical component of the Internet's infrastructure. DNS is like the Internet's phone book. It translates human-friendly domain names into IP addresses that computers use to identify each other on the network. This attack exploits vulnerabilities in DNS servers to amplify the amount of traffic sent to the target. By sending a small query to a DNS server with a spoofed IP address, the attacker can generate a much larger response that is directed at the target. It's like calling every number in a phone book and having them all call the target simultaneously. The sheer volume of traffic can overwhelm the target, causing it to crash or become unresponsive, thereby achieving the attacker's goal of denial of service. The Rise of Botnets in DDoS Attacks Botnets are the backbone of large-scale DDoS attacks. Hackers create and control these networks of compromised devices. They use various methods to infect devices such as phishing emails, malicious software, and exploiting vulnerabilities. The more devices in a botnet, the more powerful the attack. Hackers can rent out botnets for profit. This makes it easier for individuals with limited technical skills to launch DDoS attacks. DDoS as a service a growing threat. The cybercrime world is becoming commercialized. DDoS as a service is a prime example. Criminals offer DDoS attack services on the dark web. For a fee, anyone can target websites or online services. This accessibility makes DDoS attacks a growing threat. It's no longer just sophisticated hackers. Individuals, even disgruntled employees, can launch these attacks. This democratization of cybercrime is alarming. Motives behind DDoS attacks. Why launch a DDoS attack? The motives vary. Some hackers do it for fun or to make a statement. Others have financial motives extorting money from businesses. DDoS attacks can also be used as a smokescreen. While a website is down, attackers might try to steal data or install malware. In some cases, DDoS attacks are politically motivated, targeting government websites or critical infrastructure. Kaylee Linux, a hacker's playground. Kaylee Linux is a penetration testing operating system. It's a powerful tool for cybersecurity professionals but it can also be used for malicious purposes. Kali Linux comes with pre-installed tools that can be used for DDoS attacks. It's important to remember that using these tools for illegal activities is a crime. This information is for educational purposes only. Understanding how hackers use Kali Linux for DDoS attacks is crucial for defending against them. Setting up a testing environment in Kali Linux. Before exploring DDoS tools, it's crucial to have a safe environment. Setting up a virtual machine is recommended. This creates an isolated environment within your computer, preventing any accidental damage to your system. Once the virtual machine is set up, you can install Kali Linux. It's important to download Kali Linux from the official website to ensure you have a safe and unmodified version. DDoS Tools in Kali Linux Kali Linux offers various tools for network analysis and penetration testing. Some of these tools can be used for DDoS attacks. One example is HPing3, a command line tool used for sending customized network packets. Another tool is Slow Loris, which sends partial HTTP requests to a server, keeping the connection open and consuming resources. These are just two examples. Many other tools in Kali Linux can be used for DDoS attacks. The importance of ethical hacking. Ethical hacking plays a crucial role in cybersecurity. By understanding how hackers operate, security professionals can identify vulnerabilities and strengthen defenses. Ethical hackers use the same tools and techniques as malicious hackers, but with permission and for ethical purposes. Learning about DDoS attacks in a controlled environment can help security professionals develop countermeasures and protect systems from real-world attacks. A call to cybersecurity awareness. The threat of DDoS attacks is real and growing. It's crucial for individuals and organizations to be aware of these threats and take steps to protect themselves. This includes keeping software updated, using strong passwords, and being cautious of suspicious emails. By understanding the methods and tools used in DDoS attacks, we can better defend against them. Follow the Ministry of Hacking for more insights into cybersecurity and ethical hacking.